The launch of DJI's next tiny drone, called the DJI NEO, is fast approaching. And recently, Igor Bogdanov shared a lot of details, clearing any doubts you might have. Stick around to know it all. First off, let's talk about the camera. It features a half-inch image sensor paired with a 117.6-degree field of view lens. With a 14mm format equivalent and an f2.8 aperture, this drone captures stunning wide-angle shots. The ISO range spans from 100 to 6400, giving you the flexibility to shoot in various lighting conditions, whether you're on auto or manual mode. The shutter speed is impressive, ranging from 1 8,000th of a second to 1 30th of a second for videos, and from 1 8,000th of a second to 1 10th of a second for photos. This drone allows you to capture 12 megapixel stills, with a maximum image size of 4,000 by 3,000 in a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, or 4,000 by 2,256 in 16 to 9. Whether you prefer single or time shots, this drone's got you covered. When it comes to video, this drone delivers 4K resolution at 30fps without EIS and up to 1080p at 60fps with EIS. All your footage is saved in MP4 format, ensuring compatibility and ease of editing. With a maximum video bitrate of 75 megabits per second and the O4 video transmission system, ensuring smooth live view quality up to 1080p at 30fps with the DJI RCN3 remote, and up to 1080p at 60fps when using DJI Goggles 3 paired with DJI RC Motion 3 or DJI FPV Remote Control 3. The drone operates across multiple frequency bands, including 2.4GHz, 5.1GHz and 5.8GHz, with the specific operating frequency varying by region. The transmitter power is well within regulatory limits, ensuring strong communication even at the maximum transmission distance. Speaking of distance, this drone can reach up to 10 km under FCC regulations in an unobstructed environment, with a maximum of 6 km under CE, SRRC and MIC standards. Keep in mind though, that actual transmission distance can vary based on interference levels, from 1.5 to 3 km in a cityscape with strong interference, up to 6 to 10 km in low interference environments like suburbs or seaside areas. Let's move on to flight performance. This drone has a takeoff weight of approximately 135 grams and dimensions of 130 by 157 by 48.5 mm. It can climb at a maximum rate of 3 meters per second in sports mode, 2 in normal mode, and 0.5 meters per second in cinema mode. The descent speed mirrors this, with a maximum of 2 meters per second in both sports and normal modes, and 0.5 meters per second in cinema mode. The drone can reach a horizontal speed of up to 16 meters per second in manual mode, 8 meters per second in sports mode, and 6 meters per second in normal mode. Its maximum takeoff altitude, under optimal conditions, is measured at 120 meters when using sports mode at 2000 meters above sea level. With a maximum flight time of approximately 18 minutes or 17 minutes with propeller guards, this drone is designed for efficiency. Each battery allows for at least 20 palm takeoffs and landings for consecutive shots. However, Flight time can vary depending on conditions, such as wind and battery usage. The drone can fly forward at 2 meters per second in a windless environment at 20 meters above sea level, with the camera set to 1080p at 30fps and video mode off. With GLONASS, GPS, Galileo and Beidou on board, you can navigate with precision and the hover accuracy range is outstanding with vertical accuracy up to plus or minus 0.1 meters and horizontal accuracy up to plus or minus 1.5 meters. And it comes with 22 gigs of internal storage, which to be frank, isn't enough if you record 4K videos. Well, that is all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Got any questions or thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video.